Good day. My name is Jörg Passon, and in this series we can discuss Grade 12 Financial Mathematics. All the problems that I'm going to discuss with you in this series will be from the Grade 12 Mind Action Series Mathematics textbook. In this first episode, I want to discuss with you how to calculate N. You may recall that in Grade 11, when we are dealing with compound interest, we did problems on finding P, finding A, finding the interest rate. But now we want to calculate N. To do so, we need blocks. And that is why we can only do this topic in grade 12. So let's now look at the first example on compound interest. We're also going to look at depreciation. The first problem is about compound interest. So as you can see, I'm saying here in this, as a start that with our knowledge on locks now, we will be able to solve for N in these two formulas. That is A equal to P, 1 plus I to the N, that is compound interest and A equal to P1 minus I to the N, the compound depreciation. In this example, Amanda deposits 10,000 Rand into a savings account. Please take note, it's a once-off payment. Interest is calculated at 12% per annum, compounded monthly. That is very important to remember. How long will it take her uh, for her savings to grow to 15,000 Rand. Let's just quickly write down what was given to us. First of all, the formula we're going to use is A equal to P, 1 plus I to the N. P was given to us as 10,000 Rand. A was given to us, that is the amount at the end of the period, as 15,000 Rand. And the interest rate was given to us as 12%, but it's compounded monthly. So it's 0.12 divided by 12 because of the monthly. And we want to solve for N. So let's now substitute. So my A, 15,000, is equal to P, 10,000. 1 plus my I, 0.12 over 12 to the N. This now, before we take it to locks, we can do, simplify this equation first by dividing both sides by 10,000 and by simplifying the inside of the bracket. So that will give us 15,000 over the 10,000 is equal to, and if I add that, I hope you will agree, you get 1,01 to the n. Because 0,12 divided by 12 is 0,01 plus the 1. This now we can simplify. The thousand and the thousands will cancel. And 5 goes into 15 three times and 5 into 10 twice. And that will leave us with that fraction of 3 over 2. Now we take it to log form from exponential form. And if I may remind you, this definition looks as follows. If A is equal to B to the N, how can we find N? And then we write it as the log of A. That was the base of the exponent, and that is the base of the log as well. Now, this is what I'm now going to use to change this exponential form to log form. So I'm going to say that N is equal to the log of 3 over 2, and the base is 1,01. Now you take your calculator. There is a lock button on your calculator. And you put this information onto your calculator. The answer you're supposed to get is then 40,748,907. Please take note that this represents months. Remember? The interest rate, we divided by 12 because it was compounded monthly. 
When we solve for n, we will end up with the number of months. So now what we do is we normally express our answer in terms of years. So to find this answer in years, we will take this 40,748, 907, and we will divide by 12. And please check on your calculator if you agree with me. The answer that I've got is 3,3957426. Now, it's sometimes acceptable that we leave the answer in years, but then we will round it off to two decimals. So that means we will get 3,40 years. The alternative, to, the alternative to this is that we write it as years and months. Now to do that, we will say it is three years and, and now we take only the decimal 0, uh, 3, 3957426 and we multiply this by 12 to get the number of months because this is a part of a month and that when we multiply by 12 it doesn't give us the number of months but how many that what portion of a year and this will give us then three years and approximately five months in the next example i'm going to discuss with you also to calculate n but now with compound depreciation, or we also call it the reducing balance depreciation. You hopefully remember from your grade 11 days that we have a straight line depreciation and, the, and then the reducing balance depreciation. Now, reducing balance depreciation, depreciation is A equal to P, 1 minus I to the A. So look, let's look at a problem where we use uh, this formula to calculate N. The problem says that a company purchases a truck for 800,000. So that is the purchase price. So that means in our formula that will be P because that's the original amount. The value of the truck depreciates at 20% per annum on the reducing balance. That is now the compound interest one, or the compound depreciation rather. How long will it take for the truck's value to depreciate to 500,000? Now this sometimes confuses many people because in compound interest, we're always aware that, that A, normally is the bigger amount and P, the principal or the uh, present value, is always the smaller amount. But with reducing balance depreciation, it's the other way around. So it is important just to remember that. So first of all, I'm going to say that P, my present value or my initial amount, is 800,000. My amount at the end of the term is 500,000 and my interest rate is 20% per annum as you can see which we will write as 0, 0,2 and we please take note we don't divide by anything. Depreciation is most of the time a yearly calculation. We don't, uh, not like with interest, where it is most of the time a monthly calculation. So my formula A equal to P, 1 minus I to the N. And we, of course, want to solve for N. So let's substitute now. So 500,000 is the amount at the end of the period. 800,000. And then 1 minus my i 0, 0,2 to the n. Now, the same as in the previous example, we want to, rem to, to remove the 800,000 on this side 
and we want to simplify the bracket. So we divide both sides with 800,000. So we get 500,000 over 800,000 is equal to, and if I subtract that, I get 0, 0,8 to the n. This, of course, will simplify easily to 5 over 8 equal to 0, 0,8 to the n. And that is your 0, 0,8 to the n. Now we're going to use the log definition again, what I explained to you in the first example, and we want to write it in terms of n. So n is equal to the log of 5 over 8, and your base is 0, 0,8. Remember, the base of the exponent is also the base of the log. Now, please take your calculator again. You use that log button on your calculator, like the same way you did in the first example. And your answer you're supposed to get for n is 2, 106, 28, 372. And this n represents the number of years. Please, it's not like in the previous example because this was a yearly calculation. So therefore, your answer in years. So we may round this off to 2 comma, if I round it off to two decimals, to 1, 1 years. Or we can also write it as the number of years and months, like we did in the previous example. So then we will say n is equal to 2 years. And if you take that 0, 0,11 and you multiply that with 12, you will notice that you get approximately 1 month. So this truck will depreciate in value from the purchase price of 800,000 to 500,000 in a period of two years and one month.